Hello and welcome to sapyard.com. We are really excited to present our new course ABAP Programming Model for SAP Fury. We have put lots of effort in curating this novel course and we sincerely believe it will help traditional ABAP developers to add one important skill set which they will need day in day out in S4 HANA projects. We do not want to claim that you will become an expert after taking this course but we do assert that after this instructor led training if the participants diligently submit the assignments and appear the quizzes it will definitely help the abap developers to have enough confidence to deliver any project which needs this new abap programming model for sap fury let us quickly check the high level course content we will introduce the participants to the new programming model for sap fury this is one of the pillars of S4 HANA system. We will explain the evolution and architecture of ABAP programming model. We will try to understand what are SAP Fury elements and what are the different Fury templates and why we need them. We will also show you the different prototyping tools which is essential in any front-end projects where you need to simulate the final product to the stakeholders even before you start your development. SAP Build is the preferred prototyping tool, but we will cover one more prototyping tool which is close competitor of SAP Build. Not to forget, we will show you how to install Eclipse and ADT and start your course. Next we will design our data model for the whole training. Since this is a new programming model, we did not want to use the age old S flight model or the new EPM enterprise procurement model in S4 HANA. Therefore, we have produced a custom model for this training which we have named as Royalty Management Model. Everyone can relate to this model as it is a real-time model. Authors who write the books get real royalty for every piece sold. Similarly, the lyricists and singers get the share of profit from their work. Even the scientists and innovators get royalty for their brilliance, not to forget. Even the farmers get royalty if any company chooses to build windmill or lay solar panel on their land. So the farmers get royalty for every kilowatt of power generated. You will surely find this royalty management model very simple and easy to understand and correlate in this whole training. And we will create our basic CDS views, interface, interface views, composite views and consumption views keeping in mind our royalty management model. We will introduce the participants to joins and associations and annotations in core data services. We will also cover AMDP and table functions used in CDS. We need to understand that CDS is one concept which is the heart of S4 HANA system. So we need to become very comfortable with it. Next we will learn how to expose the CDS view as O data services. The trainer will speak about the different ways to expose CDS as O data. We will learn about OData service activation and maintenance steps. SAP Fury can be part of embedded architecture or central hub architecture. We will see the differences and advantages and disadvantages of both the architecture. Finally, we will connect to S4 HANA backend system from the local and trial online SAP web ID and start creating our Fury projects. Next in our agenda is to preview the basic app which we deployed in Web IDE. We will introduce the participants to UI annotations and its usage and purpose. We will also learn about the most commonly used UI annotations which will help the ABAP developers in their real projects. We will cover a very important concept of metadata extension files. If the developers understand this concept and its uses for UI annotation, the battle is half won. Then we will talk about the Fury elements and the need of different templates. Finally, we will build a list report app which would bring the royalty management model to life. Next topic will be relatively new concept to even seasoned developers. We will introduce them to the BOPF framework architecture and anatomy of BOPF's business objects. We will urge all participants not to miss this class. We will do hands-on BOPF client API and understand the draft concepts or the draft functionality which is possible in BOPF. Draft is like keeping something on park and it is not committed. If someone is working on an object and has not saved it yet, it stays in draft mode and others cannot edit it. 
It is a very important concept in programming model in SAP Fury which can be achieved by BOPF. We will build our app with and without draft functionality which will help the participants to grasp the concepts better. We will continue with BOPF annotation syntax. We will learn how to enable, create, update and delete operations in BOPF. You might be wondering why not read operations? Because CDS does the read operation for us which we cover by default. We will build live transactional app first without draft functionality and then we will build another live transactional app with draft functionality. You will surely love this feature which BOPF adds to the Fiori app. Then comes some of the most important concepts of BOPF that is actions and determinations. Participants will learn why, how and when to apply actions and determinations in our royalty management model app. You will see there are lots of topics to be covered in this course. This is an action packed training with lots of surprises, twists and turns. On the last day, we will recap any topic which we missed or which needs special attentions again. The trainer will share practical tips and tricks along with some good practices and standards. And before we conclude, the trainer will open the house for any spontaneous questions or doubts related to the topics covered in our training. We have put lots of effort and time in designing and finalizing the training content. We have tried not to leave any important concepts and at the same time, we have taken special care not to overwhelm the participants with extra dose of information which might leave them in a state of confusion. We sincerely believe there will be enough takeaway from this course which the participants can implement in their real S4 HANA projects. Let us check some important dates and information. We want to start this course in very quick time frame with very little promotion as many consultants have requested and shown interest in this course even before we release this video. The first day of the training is on 16th May 2020 at 7.30pm IST. If you are in Australia, New Zealand or East Asia, this time might not suit you as it will be midnight for you, so please do not enroll in this course. However, the training time would suit consultants from Indian subcontinent, West Asia, Europe, North and South America, so participants from these locations are welcome. We are open for registration till 7th May and we need to close the enrollment process by 12th May 2020. On 13th May, we will send you S4 HANA 1809 server details along with the unique student ID naming convention and guide to install Eclipse cloud connector and connect to backend S4 HANA system from your HANA trial web IDE. Recording will be provided after each class and you will have lifetime access to this class videos. Thank you very much for showing interest in this course. Please WhatsApp us at plus one six four six seven two seven nine two seven three or email us at mail SAP yard at gmail.com for any queries. See you live on the training day. Have a wonderful time ahead.